Hi there, this is Julie Wong from Mighty Hands. I'm so excited to be sharing our new stamp sets with you. For those of you who are new to us, Mighty Hands products are here to help you share the love of God with others and also to fill yourself up with this important truth. So we always want to focus your attention on Jesus and his finished work. Genesis tells us that when God created man, he made him in his image. And when he finished created man, he rested on the seventh day. That means that his job was complete. He was done. When you were born again, you were made a new creation. So your spirit man is made in the image of Jesus Christ and is just like him. So not surprisingly, Psalm 23 tells us that Jesus is our shepherd and we are his sheep. And according to Hebrews 4, God has promised us a rest. And now we can enter this rest through Jesus' finished work. And according to John 10.10, Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly to the overflow. Just in case you're new to clear stamps, I just wanted to show you how to use them. So our clear stamps are made out of photopolymer. They're naturally sticky. Remove one stamp from the acetate sheet, place it onto an acrylic block, then ink it up with an ink pad and just go ahead and stamp it. And when you're done, you can use a baby wipe or a cloth with water to clean it up. So let's start with our first stamp set from Genesis. The sentiments in this set are created in God's image, God formed man and breathed into him, fearfully and wonderfully made, and very good. I made this pop-up or shadow box card using the Your Love stamp set as well as our In His Image stamp set. And inside it says created in God's image and fearfully and wonderfully made. To create the soft blue background on this card, I did some ink blending with Distress Ink. For this Adam and Eve scene, I stamped the images in brown ink and then colored them in with Copic markers, but you can use any coloring medium that you wish. After coloring the cute images, I cut them out and then glued them onto the pop-up structure of this card. To learn how to create the structure for this card, you can follow a video by Jennifer McGuire Ink. I'll put a link in the description box below. Here are some more ideas of what you can do with the stamps in this set. You can make little tags like this and use them for gifts or even bookmarks. Next we have His Sheep, which is based on Psalm 23, which I know is a psalm that so many people love, including me. And the sentiments are, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. He restores my soul and thinking of you. And did you know an ewe is actually a female sheep? <laughs> I've been using this stamp set to make tags and bookmarks and stamp my journal and it's been getting a lot of use. So I'm telling you, if you like Psalm 23, this is the set for you. I made this The Lord is My Shepherd I Shall Not Want card with In His Image, His Sheep, and Rest in His Love. I created the hills by ink blending with Distress Ink and also added a lace border at the bottom. So now I'm just showing you how you can pop up some sheep to make your scene extra cute. What I would do is I would use foam tape so that it looks a bit 3D and there's some dimension. For even more dimension, you could pop up the gates here and put the sheep on top of them. On the inside, don't forget to stamp a wonderful verse like Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Perhaps you're looking for a way to be creative in your devotional time with the Lord. So I have an idea for you. Perhaps you'd like to try Bible journaling where you could actually write and draw and paint inside your Bible. Or you could just do this in a regular journal or on separate pieces of paper like I did here, loose sheets, and then bind them together. This is your chance to just have fun with whatever art mediums you enjoy most. So I combine watercolor with stamping here. This is our handwritten alpha stamp set, which is really useful for customizing verses in your journal or even customizing sentiments on your cards or gifts to people. So I made some of my favorite tags and bookmarks with this set and this one uses the bushes from In His Image as well. And then he restores my soul. You can actually write the person's name or put a message there in the middle. And this one is just uh, stamping on a watercolor background. So now we have Rest in His Love, which is another stamp set that I really, really like so much. I especially like this Rest in His Love sentiment up there. And then there's Let the Peace of God Guard 
your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4, 7, and then there's sweet dreams. Here we have an adorable boy and girl sleeping on the moon and cloud, and more sheep. These sheep work really well with our His Sheep stamp set. So I made a card for a baby boy. It could be for a newborn or for a toddler's birthday, and it says, rest in his love, which is heat embossed in gold. The lace there is just a white lace, which I actually uh, sort of dyed using my blue ink pad. And then the background is ink blending with blue distress ink. And I colored in the central image with Copic markers. Here are some more tag ideas. This has the sheet from his sheep on it, and then the other two are just from Rest in His Love. Our last set in the release is Overflowing Cup, and how cute is this girl in the teacup? And there's also a bubble tea down there, and we have the question, coffee or tea? I'm a tea person, personally. What about you? Anyway, so the sentiments are, your cup overflows, you refresh my soul, and Christ is our living water. This set is a great reminder that our cup always overflows with blessings. Earlier I mentioned that I'm a tea person, right? So I had to make this card which says, you're my cup of tea. And I used the handwritten alpha stamp set to make my own custom sentiment, which is something I really enjoy doing. So I stamped the cute girl in a teacup in brown, colored her in with Copic markers, and then popped her up with foam tape. And here she is on a tag stamped with You Refresh My Soul, and then there's Your Cup Overflows, and Christ is Our Living Water. And I made a bookmark here. It's a watercolor background with Christ is Your Living Water. And I thought it suited the uh, background pretty well, so quite happy with it. And that's it for a new release intro. I really hope you found something that inspired you to create. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And remember, God has blessed the work of your hands.